in the previous video, we finished off our password reset flow. So users could reset the password if for any reason they ever forgot it. Now in this video, we're going to add email verification to the system. And this is completely optional. You don't have to put this in if you don't want to, but I advise that you build this up and then it's something that you can turn on or off with middleware. So if you only want to add it to certain parts of your application, you can do. Or if you don't want to add it at all, it's completely up to you. As with everything in this series, we're going to be using Laravel 45 to power the back end. Let's look at how we can implement this. So just one thing to check before we actually jump into this. If you come under config and fortify and we scroll down to the bottom to the features, you need to make sure the email verification is uncommented. So by default, currently it is, but that's not to say it won't be commented out in the future. So it's just worth checking this and any of the other Laravel 45 features as well. It's always worth just checking in here if something's not working, just to make sure they are enabled. Now we just need to make sure our user model implements the must verify email interface. And you can see here at the top of the file, it's bringing in illuminate contracts or must verify email. But if you can see from my IDE, this use is in gray rather than white. That means it's being pulled into the file, but not used. So we need to make sure that we implement this interface for this to work. So up after extends, we can just call implements and we want to implement that must verify email interface. Now that we've implemented this interface, this means that new users will receive an email asking them to verify their email address. So let's just try this out. So I've just filled in some dummy data here for a new user, and I'm gonna hit submit on this. You can see that's now registered the new user and logged us in. Now let's head over to MailTrap where I set up in a previous video, a development email server. And we can see here we have a new email from our system. Let's just open this. And you can see here it's asking us to verify our email address by clicking this button or the link below. Now this won't work at the moment because we haven't told Laravel Fortify where to find the view. So now if we just click this verify email address link here, you can see here this has actually redirected us back to our homepage. But before it did that redirect, it's verified this user's email address. And we can check this out in our database. So I'm using MySQL, so I'm just going to log into MySQL here. And I'm going to select that last user. And a little tip here, I'm using backslash G on the end here. And this just formats the output from MySQL in an easier to read format. So as you can see here, now the email verified at has a date time stamp against it. So this user now has verified their email address. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to update this column. So this user is no longer verified. So I'm just going to update the users and I'm going to set email underscore verified underscore at column equal to null where the ID equals 193. And if we just do that, select again, and you can scroll through your old MySQL commands by pressing the up and down keys on your keyboard. And that'll bring up the previous command so you don't have to retype them out again. So just hit enter on this. And you see that email verified is null again now. So now let's apply that verified middleware so we can actually see this in action. So under the root of our project, I'm going to come down to roots and I'm going to go into web.php. And you can see here, we're already applying some middleware, the auth and the auth is admin. And these are two our admin routes. So let's say now that we want all of our admin users to verify their email address also. For everything inside of this root group, we're going to say we want them to be verified. Now back over in our application, if we just log out of this current user, and we'll log in as one of our admin users that we created earlier in the video, now, if I try and go to one of the admin routes, like the users page that we just put the verified middleware on, we should actually get an error here because we haven't configured Fortify yet. But we'll know that that verified middleware is working. So let's just click this. And you can see now we're getting that error back from Fortify. It doesn't know how to show the verify email view. Okay, that's perfect. So we know that verified middleware is now checking with Laravel Fortify to make sure the user has verified their email address. And if they haven't, it's going to try and show them this view to tell the user to verify their email address. So let's actually configure and create that view now. So as always, with everything in Laravel Fortify, this is for the Fortify service provider. And you can find that in App Providers Fortify Service Provider. And then in the same way that we've done the above here, we're just going to call Fortify. And we're going to say 
verify email view. And this takes in a closure again. And then we simply want to return a view. And I'm going to put this one in the auth folder and I'm going to call it verify hyphen email. So now we just need to create that view. So under project, under resources, views, auth, it's going to be quite a simple view this, but I'm just going to copy that login. So we've got the absolute bare skeleton to, to create this page. So I'm just going to paste this in and then I'm going to call it verify hyphen email. Like I've just set in the service provider and then inside of here, I'm just going to delete that form because we don't need it. And I'm going to get rid of this link as well, actually, and then just change our page title to verify email address and spell address correctly there. And then we'll put underneath it, you must verify your email address to access this page. Now let's refresh this in the browser so we can see if this is working. And you can see now, as we try to go to users, we get the verify email address page. So the user now knows that they need to go to their email and click the verification link. But it would also be good on this page to give the option to resend that verification email if for any reason the user's lost it or deleted it by mistake. So let's add that in now. So to do this, we need to create a form and the method for this needs to be a post and the action is going to go to a root. And I've got if I create a name root for this and it's called verification.send. So we want to send a post request to this. And then as with all our forms, we want our CSRF token. Oh, and I've just noticed there I've spelled action wrong, as you probably noticed. So just need to take that C out. And then the final thing we need to do is create a button so the user can submit this form. Now we don't have to pass in an email address or a user object of any kind because the user is currently logged in to actually see this page. Laravel knows what user to send the verification email to again. So let's just quickly make out this button now. We're going to have a type of submit. And I'm going to give it some of the bootstrap styling of BTN and BTN primary. And then for the text on the button, I'm just going to say resend verification email. So now let's just try this out. And it should redirect us back to the current page that we're on. And also because we set up the notifications in an earlier video, the session status will come back from Laravel Fortify, confirming to the user that a new verification email has been sent. So let's just try that. So I'm just going to refresh this page and I'm going to hit that resend verification email button. And you can see there it sent us a notification back saying verification link sent. Not the best formatted uh, error message. I assume that the creators of Laravel will probably fix that at some point. But for now anyway, we know the verification email has been resent. So if we jump back over to MailTrap, and we see here we get the verification email again. Let's just click this verify email address button. And there we go. This user has now verified their email address. So they're now able to see this user's page. And obviously also they have the admin role because our gate is also checking whether they do have that role or not. And that's it. That's all we need to do with out of 45 to get the email verification working. So just remember within your routes, now that you've got this set up, any route in your application, you don't want the user to access until they verified their email make sure that you apply the verified middleware to that route or the root group like I'm doing here with the admins. And again, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but you might want this additional layer of security to make sure the user is using a proper email address that you can verify them against. So in the next video, I'm going to look at implementing a user profile page. Now, this is just the basics of the user's name and their email address. So the user can change this at a later point. And again, we're going to be using Laravel Fortify actions to actually carry out this profile update. So if you did enjoy this video, give it the thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. I'm also over on Twitter where I'll be giving you future updates about my videos and also sharing other Laravel related topics. And I also have a Patreon, any kind of tips or if you want to buy me a coffee, all of that is very much appreciated and all those links are down in the description.